college football. You can feel it here in Wisconsin. Third quarter ends, and as soon as the beat drops, the entire stadium starts jumping around. This brings the whole stadium together for two and a half minutes on a Saturday, jumping around in unison, cheering on their Badgers. Jump up, jump up and get down! This is the story of how jump around became the best tradition in college football. Jump, 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 jump! Colin Mark, second sticks. My name is Ryan Sondrup. I play tight end at the University of Wisconsin. 1998, I was a marketing intern uh, for, the, for the athletic department. I had a knee injury that put me off the team. So I remember going to Kevin Klender's office and saying, hey, we need to do something more at the football games. My name is Kevin Klender. I'm the assistant athletic director for marketing promotions. We we're talking about music. We were talking about the experience in the stadium. Could we do something more from, you know, to get the players excited and, and, and juiced up? I was just the intern, so, you know, they kind of rolled their eyes and said, why don't you, why don't you come up with some ideas and you, you get back to us? He met with some of his teammates about music that they may enjoy hearing throughout the game. I went to Wando's, a local bar in Madison. My name is Eric Weissman. I was a former defensive lineman at the University of Wisconsin. I was bartending at Wando's. Sonny came in, he was so excited. He's like, guys, we get to choose songs for the game. I had a little green notebook that I wrote down all my ideas. Luckily, Wise was behind the bar and had a couple dollars out of the cash register there to feed the jukebox. We were looking for something that was popular. One song was Metallica. I feel like there may have been a Motley Crue in there. House of Pain, they were big in the 90s. What's up, I'm Everlast from House of Pain. Let's talk about Jump Around. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. It was released in 1992. That's 30 years ago. I was a big dance hall reggae kind of fan, and they would say things like, jump around and feel our freedom. DJ Muggs from Cypress Hill, who produced it, I was out writing the lyrics in his driveway, and when he heard me say the jump around, he was like, hold up. But it didn't become jump around until the horn got added. We all stepped back and we were like, ooh. So get out your seat and jump around. All right, now, back to the story. We put jump around in, it was just those first four notes. And then all of a sudden it just kind of hits. Just looked at each other and just like, this one's got to be on the top of the list. October 10th, 1998, homecoming game versus Drew Brees' Purdue team. A minute left in the third quarter. Drew Brees was thrown by like 80 times that game. And right on the Wisconsin sideline, Fletch picks him off. It's picked off. And you can see it coming. Jamar Fletcher, touchdown Wisconsin. The third quarter ended. Purdue was now heading to the student section. The break was happening, the offense was coming on the field, and that's when I remembered, it's like, oh my gosh, play it. In that moment, that song jumped out to me and chose it that night. The students exploded like popcorn. We're all going wild on the sidelines. They're actually playing the song we picked on Monday. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It energized not only the crowd, but also the players, and led to a victory for homecoming. It's one of those nights at Camp Randall that, that you never forget. Wisconsin with a seven-point win over the Boilermakers. When the energy and the excitement carried over from one season to the next, at that point we started to think, well, we might have something here. I've wanted to go for a long time. Just never really got the opportunity. I was pretty nervous waiting for that moment in between the third and fourth quarter. Walking up the stairs, the sun popped out. It was kind of surreal. What's up, Badgers? On behalf of myself and all the House of Pain and all the real ones that showed up in this weather, thank you for keeping the song alive for 30 years. Let's go! I jumped around like a silly guy, and I don't do that. That's pretty wild. 
their energy jumped into me, and all of a sudden, I was doing the Wisconsin jump around tradition. <laughs> The moment hit me because it's 30 years later and it still has the same effect on these young people. Those people are the same age I was when I wrote it. That song changed my life. It's gone generational. My twin girl would come and they do the jump around. Something that dad and his buddies and teammates helped start you know, 25 seasons ago. Thank you, Brian and Eric, for uh, putting me on that playlist. <laughs>